So, um, I was at a family gathering this weekend, and there was a baby there, and um, came by itself. Um, very independent baby. Um, didn't fuss at all. So I was holding this baby um, on my lap for a while because it was kind of better than talking to the grown-ups. So everyone, every single person at the party passed by me at some point and said this to me. Oh, you look so good with a baby! And I just kept thinking to myself, who looks bad with a baby? When have you ever seen somebody holding a baby and, you, and you're just like, oh, ick, ick, oh, just put it down, put it down. It just doesn't work for you. There's just some, some things you should never try and holding a baby is one of them. Have you ever stared into the eyes of a stuffed animal and seen pure evil? My roommate and I went to Ralph's today. Um, it's right by the Rite Aid. And uh, we got a bunch of pastrami. And while we were watching the woman slice the pastrami, um, she said to us, Oh, so were you guys together? And we very quickly both answered. And he said, Yes. And I said, No. And then we both looked at each other. And then we looked at her, and she looked really confused. And well, we both, then we both said, Well, for the meat. We're together for the meat. And uh, then we kept standing in silence as we watched her slice a big pile of meat. And then my roommate said, I want to have a baby with you. And I, but, I, but I knew it was just the meat talking. I was standing in the aisle um, of Ralph's today and uh, waxing poetic about how I thought Kraft macaroni and cheese um, tasted like shit and was powdered and all crappy and anybody who buys it blah 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 and then um, I look up to find this elderly woman picking up a whole big batch of it it got a little uncomfortable so then I had to chloroform her another Facebook application I'm currently grappling with is um, pirates versus ninjas and that is because I can't choose a side um, if you're talking about cool factor, pirates are of course cooler because you get to wear stripes. Um, there's gold, coins, and uh, parrots and monkeys. Um, also you have wenches and you drink all the time. So that's really cool. Ninjas though, I mean I'm gonna have to go into nerd mode for a second here, but ninjas have knowledge of healing and they can make potions that heal themselves and also they made their own um, you know kinda dynamite exploding tear gassy crazy stuff like bombs and so I guess ninjas would be much more practical so I just can't make a decision and uh, I want to be both at the same time a masked pirate ninja it definitely bothers me more when people hassle me on the street for money than for sex. And I don't know what that says about me. So I downloaded a, a Scrabble application on my Facebook so that I could play Scrabble with my friends. And now I am swearing off Scrabble completely and I hate everyone um, who's attempted to play me. Uh, because they're all assholes who use big and annoying words that... Um, not just big, but mostly annoying. They somehow know how to use the board way better than I do, and the words themselves make me want to just kill myself right there on the spot. And I'll give you an example. Uh, my friend Dina used the word saucier in a game we were just playing. And my friend Tess used the word zanies. To drive the point home, I've written these words on a piece of paper so you could look at them. I bet you didn't even know zanies was a word. You're thinking about it right now, aren't you? Yeah, that's how I felt. Imagine losing each of these games because each of these words is like 75 points on the board. I just can't compete with that. My words are awesome and literary, but it doesn't matter and I'm losing. And my friend Adam just started a game with me and guess what his favorite first word is? Kiva. What's that? Yeah, I don't know. I looked it up on Wikipedia and it's a room and I just don't even want to talk about it. You look it up. K-I-V-A. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you want to kill yourself as well. That I promise. So the office where I attempt uh, last week wants me back for two more days um, this week. And uh, I'm coming in there tomorrow. And they are the office that thinks that they're really kooky and crazy. 
and I just have a hankering to come in all covered in, in shit, um, and then say, you know, <laughs> you know what's crazy? I'm covered in excrement, and I don't even know who's.